So how do we find the molecular mass of calcium chloride? Easy peasy, let's use this table. Bam, so the first thing I, I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see in the compound. So we see calcium and we see chlorine. Then I'm gonna write down the number of atoms. This is where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of calcium, there is an invisible one, all right? And that means there's one calcium and chlorine has a subscript of two and that means there are two chlorine. Next, what we're gonna do is take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of now each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play, so let's take a look. Here's calcium's mass, 40.08. Here's chlorine's mass, 35.45. So let's simply plug that on in. So this is 40.08. This is 35.45. And then to find the total mass now of each element in the compound, we're simply gonna multiply this row on a cross, right? So, so for calcium, the total mass of calcium is 40.08. It works out to be the same as its molar mass or molecular mass, and the other reason why is because there's only one atom. But however, for chlorine, it's gonna be different. The total mass of chlorine here is gonna be 70.90. All right, and that's because there are two chlorine now. So we took the two chlorine and multiplied by its mass. Then to find the total, just simply sum this column together. Look at how nice and easy peasy that is, right? So this works out to be about 110.98. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in AMU, atomic mass units. All right, easy as pie. Mm, pie sounds real good right now. Anyway, um, but you know, trying to be on a diet, you gotta be good, you gotta be good. Resist the temptation. Anyway, that's it, that's all I got for you. All right, so that's the molecular mass of calcium chloride. Take care.